Hello, my name is Carlos Irvin and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your zoom lens. So the first thing you need is a calibration tool or a device like similar to this one. This one is the Spider Lens Cal, okay? It's made by Data Color. They do a lot of the, the calibration tools for monitors and all that. Uh, what's important is you're going to focus here. The target point is going to be right here in the middle where the little square is right here. So that's right next to the zero. And when you when you shoot to the target, if the sharpest is instead of the zero, if it's around here, that means it's back focus. If the sharpest is over here, it's front focus. You can see because this is on the front and this is the back. So you want it to be as sharp as possible in the zero, which is right in the middle. What I like about this tool is that you can put it on a stand, on a tripod. It has the little leveling, you know, the, like the little bubble. Okay. So I like it also, it's very sturdy. The Spider Lenska comes with this table, which basically shows you depending on how many millimeters is the, the zoom lens, how far your camera has to be from the target. So we're, mesh, we're doing the 24 to 70, and when you have a zoom lens, you wanna do the longest length if you only have that option. In the case of Canon, it gives you the longest and the shortest. So, and the longest is usually shown as T for telephoto, so that would be 70. And the, and the widest would be W, which is 24. So in this case, since I'm doing it with a Nikon camera, I can only do the, the longest. So 70 means that I have to put my camera 5.7 feet, between 5.7 feet and 11.5 feet from my target, okay? From my target, meaning the calibration target. Okay, so now let's look at the setup for the camera. So this is a 24 to 70 zoom, okay? And the most important thing is you wanna make sure you turn off the vibration reduction or the stabilization because we have it on a tripod. Uh, we have it at 70 millimeters. It's set up at 2.8 as we'll see in a second on the settings, okay? Uh, if you have any filters on your lens, you want to remove the filter. So I'm removing the filter, okay? Let's see, what else do we have here? Okay. Now, uh, you want to focus right in the middle. So let's continue looking at the settings. I have it at 2.8. Okay, uh, 100 ISO. Uh, well, white balance, I have it in sunny, doesn't matter. But you can see the focus point, AFS, so that's single focus point, I have it in the middle, right in the middle. Uh, so here you can see that I'm focusing right in the middle of the frame because that's your sharpest focus, okay? Then the other thing that we have is uh, we have mirror up. We have here mirror up because we're using a remote. I'm using this remote right here. And you want to avoid motion blur, okay? So one second, let's look at the settings. Okay, now before you should we're gonna be making the adjustments here in the setup menu. So in the setup menu, okay? So this is your different menus. Each camera may be a little different. For Nikon, it's in the setup menu and it's under AF fine tune. Okay, AF fine tune. So you need to turn this on. It automatically recognizes the lens. So this one, you can see it says 24 to 70, 2.8, okay? And now, 
what we do is, so I'm gonna show you two techniques. One is without tethering. Uh, I have a tether to my computer, but I'm gonna show you first if you wanna do it without tethering. So if I take a picture, so first I wanna focus. You can use the back focus button. This is my preference, or you can use the shutter. Okay, so it is already focused. Mirror up, shoot. Okay, Let's see better the buttons. So now I want to magnify to see where is it the sharpest. And you want to magnify as much as possible. It's hard to see over here, but right now, because I already had done the calibration with this camera, the sharpest is in the number zero. With this iPhone, but the sharpest is in the number zero. And actually, I had it was actually focusing. So, so when I had it here in zero, which is the way it comes, it was focusing way to the front. So I'm going to put it back at zero so that you can see. Focus. Magnify. It's hard to see over here, but it's, it's you can it's not sharp in the number zero. It's sharper here in the in the number four. So you know after some trial and error. I knew that I had to go back. So I started like at five, then went to 10, and then left it at 11. I didn't wanna take you through the whole process because you know that takes a little long. Okay, now I'm gonna set up the tethering so I can show you how to, you can do it tether. Okay. Okay, so we have it now tether using Lightroom. So the good thing about it is that you can magnify it all the way. I have it three to one. And here for me, it's a lot easier to see that in the that in the in the back screen of my camera. So it's the same thing. Right now is near up, and now is the picture. So it takes a little long to load, but you can see now that before you see is is blurry in the zero. So let me put it back to three to one. Okay. Okay. And uh, so it was, it was not sharp here in the number zero. And now when I put it all the way over there, now the sharpest is in the number zero. I apologize if with this, I'm using my iPhone, it's not, the best to uh, show how clear it is. But my, for me, the most important thing is that you understand the steps, okay, that you need to take. So let me see if I'm forgetting anything else that is important. Uh, ISO 100, I think I already said it, is because the native ISO of my camera is 100. Uh, I think Canon, most cameras are 200. So you have to check what is the native of your camera. The, the idea is you don't want to confuse noise with, um, you know, with out of focus. So that's why you're trying to minimize all these things. Um, well, I think this is it. Uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to, res to re respond. Thank you.